reached that time of the year when we look back at all Hollywood had to offer over the last 12 months and decide which ones rose to the top of the pack. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon joins us now with his list of the top 10 films of the year. Sandy. Laura and Dave, half of the movies I've chosen as the 10 best are based on true stories. And we begin with the funniest of those inspired by a real life tale from the 1970s marks the return of one of the biggest stars of the 1980s, and we're going to count down from 10 to 1. Now, this comeback is so complete, it seems destined to enter the pantheon as one of the greatest in Hollywood history. Dolomite is my name! Eddie Murphy honors the character created by the late Rudy Ray Moore, who made so-called black exploitation movies. I laughed, I cried, I was filled with wonder and wanted to yell at the top of my lungs to Eddie. Welcome back. Next. Ford v Ferrari ranks as one of the very few movies ever to capture the excitement of auto racing. To explain why it gets my pulse racing and heart sore. We're lighter, we're faster. And that don't work, we're nastier. And while we're on the subject of nasty, bombshell allegations of sexual harassment at Fox News made me squirm and brought home the true horror of what four different women faced at the hands of the predator who ran the network. But I need to know that you're loyal. I need you to find a way to prove it. Loyalty is at the heart of The Irishman, an epic about the mafia at the height of organized crime's power in the mid-20th century. Hi, Frank. Would you like to be a part of history? Yes, I would. Robert De Niro does his best acting in a decade as a hired gun known as the Irishman, who worked for Teamsters boss Jimmy Hoffa, played by Al Pacino. In this, the first movie he has ever made with director Martin Scorsese. The big thing is he takes care of you. So you, you're, uh, you're able to let go and do all kinds of things because you know he's got you covered. There is talk of an Oscar nomination for him and for Jamie Foxx in Just Mercy, thanks to his role as a man sentenced to die for a crime he didn't commit. Next. Baby, I'm amazed the way you love me all the time. Marriage Story earned half a dozen Golden Globe nominations more than any other movie, including one for Best Drama and one each for Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver, who play a couple facing a divorce. A family of con artists in Korea are the focus of a great film called Parasite. A couple of nerds are book smart in a dark comedy about two high school seniors determined to enjoy themselves the night before graduation. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. Sir Ronan leads a strong cast directed by Greta Gerwig, who adapted a timeless story of four sisters. Little Women feels like a contemporary story instead of the upteeth version of a tale from the 19th century. And speaking of relevance, we need to keep moving. Come on! Filmed in what appears to be one continuous take, the movie set during World War I brings home the horror of 1917 in a thrilling way. An action movie that makes you think long and hard about the futility of war. 1917 is my number one. My brother Jeffrey has been reluctant to see the film because the trailer made it look so terrifying, to use his word. But the average Hollywood action movie is a lot more violent and a whole lot less worthy than this war film. You'll find a complete list of my top ten movies of this past year on our website, abc 7 and why?